hello everyone welcome to this session so in this video we are going to demonstrate hdlc protocol using cisco packet tracer so before going to cisco packet tracer uh, uh, let's look at uh, an, an introduction to hdlc protocol so hdlc means high level data link control so here are some key points about the hdlc protocol so it is uh, a data link layer protocol so as you already know in osi model the second layer is data link layer protocol so you also know that um, a data link layer the famous technology that we use is ethernet right uh, this is the uh, frequently used technology within the lands local area networks so you can consider this HDLC as an alternative to Ethernet. Okay. And HDLC is a serial communication protocol. Serial communication protocol. So what is the meaning of this is? Uh, so Okay, so here you can see uh, there is serial communication as well as parallel communication, All right? Okay, so in the serial communication, uh, the bits go in serial fashion, that is one bit after another bit. Okay, and for each bit, there is a corresponding clock pulse. Okay, for every bit there is a corresponding clock pulse. So this is serial communication. And if you see parallel communication on the same clock pulse, okay, the entire byte of data is going from sender to receiver. Okay, which is not the case in serial communication. So what can you say from this diagram is, um, the data transfer takes more time in case of serial communication, whereas it is very fast in parallel communication. Okay. And what is the downside of parallel communication is to implement this kind of communication using cables, it is costlier. Okay. Whereas serial communication, uh, the cables that we use for serial communication is uh, cheaper. Right. Okay. So let's go back to PowerPoint presentation and as you can see here HDLC is a bit oriented protocol because of this serial communication okay as I already told you in serial communication the data, the data goes bit by bit okay so it's a bit oriented protocol and where is this HDLC typically used is it is used to connect routers in a wide area network okay so don't worry about what is this thing uh, in Cisco packet tracer, it will be clear. So again, I would like to repeat, it is typically used to connect routers in a wide area network. So before going to the packet tracer, uh, I would like to show you uh, how does the serial cables look like. Okay, so here's the serial cable. So this is the cable, right? Okay, and this is the serial port. So you will find these kind of ports on the back side of the router into which these cables go into. Okay. So this is a serial cable and the corresponding serial ports. So let's go to a packet tracer. Here is a packet tracer. So for demonstrating HDLC, what we are going to do is you, we are going to take two lamps and connect the routers using a serial link. Okay. So here are the corresponding IP addresses. So I will use these two IP addresses on the router, router one, and I will use these two IP addresses on router two. And here are the addresses of the PCs. Okay. Now let's join these devices using cables. So let's quickly connect this. 
here. Now switch to router and PC2 switch. Switch to router. Okay. And now for connecting the routers, we are going to use this one, this red cable. It is called serial DT. Okay, serial cable. So we will insert into the serial port, right? So serial two slash zero. Okay. Now, if you see the uh, the communication links are showing red triangles on the uh, links between routers and switches and between the routers, right? Okay, so why it is showing like that means we have to configure the routers uh, for the links to show green triangles. Okay, so here uh, now this is the WAN setting, YDRA network. So consider this left hand side uh, devices are in some um, country or state and this right hand side devices are in some other state or country. Okay. So let's configure this router one first. So go to config panel, uh, go to fast ethernet. So I am going to configure this uh, IP address for this LAN. Okay, IP address is 192.168.0.1. And you turn on the what? Okay. And for the PCs, uh, from the previous exercises, you already know that whenever we use a router, we need to give the default gateway, right? Uh, so the default gateway should be this address. And the IP address you can see here, I am going to give this 0 0.2. Okay. Same configuration for the PCB. So desktop IP configuration default gateway is this and IP address is 0 0.3. Okay, done. So we are going to so do the same thing for the uh, router 2 also for this right hand side LAN config fast ethernet. So the IP address I am going to give this 10.0.0.1. Okay, turning the port on. Now for the PCs, desktop IP configuration, default IP address, uh, default gateway, and IP address is 0 0.2. Similarly for the PCD, default gateway, IP address. 0 0.3 subnet mask okay so we are done with the left hand side LAN and right hand side LAN now we need to configure these IP addresses so for this we have to go into the serial port configuration so the IP address is this one 11.0.0.1 subnet mask and turn on the port on and also you we should note that there is something called clock rate here which is set to 1200 so let's keep it like that now let's move on to the router 2 now for router 2 again serial port and we are going to set the IP address to this 11.0.0.2 Turn on, and you can see clock rate is 1200. Okay, now you can see all the triangles are green. Now let's again open router one, go to serial port. Okay, clock rate is 1200. Let's check for router two, serial port. Okay, now the clock rate has changed to something very big. So let's bring this down to 64,000. Okay. So the clock rates should not be very far apart. So I am bringing down the value from very high value to something like 64,000. OK. Right. Now, one more thing we have to do is 
go to router one configuration and go to routing and under routing go to rip settings okay rip means routing information protocol so it's a protocol which is used by the routers to share information about which network they are connected to okay so by sharing that information whenever the router uh, gets a packet uh, which should go to another network it will send that to that network without sharing the information the router will not know to where to forward the packets okay so here in the text box you enter this ip address not exactly the ip address the network address is 192.168.0.0 this is the network address okay click on add similarly add this network id which is 11.0.0.0 okay now you are telling the router that it is connected to these two networks fine similarly do the same thing in router 2 rip settings uh, we are adding the network 11.0.0.0 and also one more network it is connected to is the 10 network 10.0.0.0 Zero. Add. Okay. So now we configured a WAN where the two routers are connected using a serial link. Okay. Now let's go to simulation mode and let's turn off all the protocols and let's only enable ICMP. Okay. Now let's add a PDU from uh, PCA to PCD. Now let's click on next. Okay. Router 2. Right. Okay. Now the uh, this packet is uh, saying uh, it failed. Okay, so let's ignore it. Let's delete this and add one more PDU from A to D again. So switch to router, router 1 to router 2, router 2 to switch, switch to the destination D and again back to switch, router 2, router 1, switch and back to source. Okay. Now we see that uh, the PDU is traveling from source to destination without any problem. Okay, let's delete this simulation. Now let's add the PDU again from A to D. Okay, so let's click next. A to switch from switch to router. Now when the packet or PDU is at the router, let's click on the PDU, this envelope. Okay, now we will see this details about all the OSA layers. So this is the incoming layers that is this side, the LAN. So at layer 2, you can see it is Ethernet. Okay, so the LAN is using Ethernet technology. But on the out layers, on the layer 2, you can see there is HDLC. Right? High level data link control. Okay, so this is how you can verify whether... Uh, you are uh, using HDLC or not. So let's click on next. Okay, now here also you can again verify by clicking on the PDU. Now the in layers contain HDLC at layer 2, whereas the out layer contains Ethernet. Okay, so here out layer means this Ethernet, right? In the, in the LAN. Okay, so this is one way. And the second way how you can verify whether you are using HDLC or not is click on the router, go to CLI. Now here you are in the configuration mode, right? So mm, come out of the configuration mode, exit, exit. Okay, now you are in the exit mode, right? Okay, now enter the global configuration mode by giving con configure terminal or you can also type conf t. Okay, now, when the, now you are in the configuration mode. 
now while you are in the configuration mode uh, type the command show interface serial to slash zero okay so okay before going to uh, give this command uh, give the command interface mm, serial to slash zero okay now you are in the interface configuration mode now give the command show interface serial to slash zero okay uh, okay let me check once again let's go to the exact mode uh, let's try to give the command here show interface serial to slash zero oh yeah so you have to give the command directly at exec mode okay when whenever you enter the previsor mode or exec mode there you should give the command show interface and the interface name okay and here so one two three four five on the fifth line you can see that it is mentioned as encapsulation is set to hdlc okay so this is another way how you can check whether your router is going to use hdlc on the serial link or not okay and if you want to set the encapsulation as hdlc what you have to do is uh, you give the uh, config key command that is to enter the configuration mode and again view interface serial to slash zero to enter the interface configuration mode now you give the command encapsulation hdlc okay now the encapsulation is H, uh, set to hdlc if you want to change hdlc to another protocol let's say there is one more protocol called ppp point to point protocol so you can see um, the state of the port has changed from up to down so let's again give the encapsulation as hdlc okay now it has moved from down state to up okay so this is how you can verify whether you are using hdlc protocol and also to set the protocol to hdlc or any other protocol okay i hope you guys liked this video okay so that's it thank you